know, but this is something that we were kind of interested in because like many organizations, we saw the impact on COVID on our donors and on our revenue streams. And we were really looking for some way to develop consistent, reliable revenue that would be pandemic proof or whatever the next pandemic is. We want to find something different. Um, you know, you want to continue to diversify that fund, that uh, pie of revenue and build it up as much as you can. Um, so we have partnered with a company to start running a large scale, scale 50-50 raffle campaign. And it is something we had to look at um, as an investment for our organization. Um, and so we're going to be doing significant marketing around it, a lot of um, donor education with our current um, constituents, and also looking to bring in a lot of new people. Since this is something we haven't offered to our community before, we think this will be a great way to reach new people who have an interest in collaborating with us um, in this fun, engaging, casual way without having to commit to an event or being in person anywhere. It's really that donor cycle. And so someone participating in the 50-50, maybe they are, you know, a current supporter or a new supporter. I'm sure you and your team, and maybe you could talk to us about what you've done to, um, you know, create initiatives and engagement opportunities once they participate in this 50-50, because as you said, it's quarterly, mm -hmm. how are you intending to engage and can, you know, back to that ROR, return on relationship with this audience? Exactly. So we are really looking at those people who are will be participating in two buckets. Those people who are already a part of our constituency and those people where this is new, a new thing for them, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Um, and so we are going to be, it's so it's an easier thing for people to say yes to than like an event. So yeah. we want to say yes to the raffle. Um, we want you to say yes to why this raffle is impacting Big Brothers, Big Sisters so that you can start learning about where this money goes. And then maybe you'll choose to come to one of those events or maybe you'll choose to support us through your tax credit. Whatever that is, whatever you choose to give, that's the journey we want you to take. And saying yes to a raffle prize where you might win $10,000 is an easy thing to ask of people. <laughs> Absolutely. So you really see this as a as a pretty strong POE or point of entry for your organization. Yes, that is our hope. So we are launching our first campaign next Monday. So maybe I'll have a better, you know, <laughs> no, I can tell you what we're hoping and what we think is going to happen. Um, and a month from now, we'll have a much better idea of what it looks like for sure. Um, but the company we're working with has, has done this in several places very successfully. So we feel really good about our numbers and the return on investment and what it's going to look like as far as bringing new people into our organization. 